Good morning, everyone. We thank God so much for today. Today is the 25th of October, 2017. We give God praise for the opportunity to come your way again with a quiet time with Mrs. Mandate. We apologize for not able to make it yesterday. Um, we could not overcome the technical hitches, but we thank God that we made it today. It's a beautiful day the Lord has made, and God's mercies towards us are brand new today. I want you to share this quiet and right away on your timeline. Let it be a blessing to many people out there. And please come back, click on that same button, and start inviting all your family and friends to join in this morning so that together we can start our day with a blessing. We are going to be looking at a very critical topic today titled wastage the real enemy behind wastage which leads to poverty which leads to worthlessness that is the topic we are going to be looking at and uh, we we're going to um, unmask the devil this morning and and pull him down and place him where he belongs so i want you to invite all your family and friends to join in as we do that let's speak in tanks Let's edify ourselves up, charge ourselves up in the name of Jesus. I can give you more sin than ever, conder ever, shonder ever, conder ever, see that I'm a bad and a voshi, Marie can deliver the rebel. I can give you voshi, Babarabara. I can rot and ever, combo, rich and ever, conder ever, and a rababiri, and a rababara. I can give you more sin than ever, do the boshi, and the ribo, condi, the ribo, the rebel. I can give you more I mo yendere ve kondere ve dore bo shu kendere ve adara be dere ve dere be ye kendere mo si baru kendere bo shondi li ve dore bo dere ya li be kendere mo si bara baba I mo diri ve shu bo re chere ve dore baba sa chere ve dore be in the name of Jesus kendere mo si chere ve kimara masu bari kendere ve dore bora I mo man diri ve kondere mo si bari kendere ve dore bara. Ye marot ni ve ko bari se varo chere ve ba kendere bo shi bari dere vera. Ye ma yon dere ve kandere bo si bari kendere mo shi dare ma kendere bo yan diri bo. Ye mo yon diri bo si dare bo kendere bo shi diri be kendere ba hi chere ve dore be. Ye dere bo ze dare kendere bo shon dere ve ha diri ba ki baro chere ve dore be. I varo dere bo shu baru kendere bo se bo ho ko ta. Alive bahida, yon dere mo si mare chale ve sho pari kendere bere. Ye va yu dere bo si baro chale ve sho kendere ve adiri bara. Ye ve yon dere me zu kendere mo si bari kendere ve dore bara. Ye dore bo se che ve kendere bo si mari chale ve dere ve. Ye ve yon dere bo se bo ha ki bore bo si dere ve adiri be. Ye dore mo se mari kendere mo sha pe di. Dara ba dere ve, ye mo ye dara mama so chere ve ke po ho dere ve kan dore bo shi chala ba dara ba ba. Oh Lord, this morning we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord, for being our shield against every fairy dart of the enemy. Thank you for being our safe place, our refuge, our stronghold, our fortress, our comfort. We honor you this morning. Thank you, Lord, for being constant, for being unwavering. Thank you for being who you are. Lord, we are so blessed to have you as our Father, our God. We do not need any other God apart from you. We bless your most holy name this morning. Thank you for your presence, Holy Spirit. We pray that you guide us, you lead us, you teach us. Open our eyes that we may behold the wonderful things out of the law of God today in the name of Jesus. 
Fill us one more time, Holy Spirit. Take charge in the name of Jesus. We give you all the praise, O oh Lord. Amen. Good morning, one more time. My name is Pastor Mrs. Engineer John Bright, and I bring you the choir time written by my father, Bishop Dahi Nils, on behalf of my husband, my pastor, my king, my lord, my cavalry, Reverend Peter Bright Sr., the one and only living mandate. He extends his warmest regards to you this morning, and he's trusting God that your mandate will be clear to you in Jesus' name. He is the visionary behind this program, Fire Time with Mrs. Mandate, and I am most privileged to be married to him and to help him to fulfill the mandate upon his life. We thank God so much for what he is using him to do. We are getting all set and ready to head to Abuja by the grace of God. And God is going to do wonderful and amazing things right there. Kindly turn your Bibles with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, from verse 4 to 5. We are looking at the topic wastage. Wastage. We are going to unmask the real enemy behind the reason why we we are not able to just avoid wastage wastage of resources wastage of relationships wastage of opportunities the real enemy behind it that is what we are going to unmask this morning so i want you to invite all your friends to join in this morning and as we turn our bibles to second corinthians chapter 10 from verse 4 to 5. Why are we learning this topic? Because when you know the truth, the truth sets you free. The truth makes you free. Until you know what is going on, there is no way you can be able to get yourself out of that situation. Why is it that every time an opportunity presents itself to me, I am not able to grasp the opportunity? Or even when I when I happen to get a hold of the opportunity, it tends to slip out of my hand. How is it that when I am blessed with relationships, it seems to go sour at the end of the day? We are going to tackle that this morning. So we read Second Corinthians chapter ten. Second Corinthians chapter 10 from verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Even though we are living in the flesh, in this physical world, we are not warring after this physical world. Why? Because for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. That's King James Version. When you read this in New Living Translation, it says that we are human, but we don't wage war as humans do. Even though we are humans, we do not wage war as humans do. So, if you are going through a difficult relationship right now, know that the root cause of it is not your spouse. If the real enemy behind that is the devil, and we need to tackle him not through human wisdom, but through the spirit because even though we are in this flesh we do not walk after the flesh because the things that happen physically first of all happen in the spirit realm before they start to manifest in our physical world so we need to go into the spirit realm tackle it deal with it then we'll see change in the physical realm 
So our weapons, when you read it in New Living Translation, it says that we use God's mighty weapons. So it's not about talking, it's not about confronting, no. We use God's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning and to destroy false arguments. We need to pluck into the spirit and use the weapons that are available to us. What is the weapon that is God has made available to we, his children, who are born again, who have been reconciled back to him? The weapon that he has given to us is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We need to stand on the word that God has said concerning that situation speak the word to that situation cast out the real enemy behind the situation which is the devil and stand our grounds and speak to the situation the word of god to the situation until it turns around until we see a change it is not about talking it's not about endless discussions it's not about fighting physically confronting and trying to sort people out and all of that no the real enemy behind the problem is the devil and we need to plug into the spirit to deal with it my father bishop that your says that you can have prodigal that is wasteful sons, businessmen, wives, Christians, and even pastors. The list is endless. The wasteful tag, the wasteful tag can be fixed on anyone who misuses money, opportunities, and resources as though they were in endless supply. Anyone who misuses money, opportunities, opportunities for to work, opportunities in relationships, God connects you with, with uh, people that are supposed to help you fulfill the mandate upon your life, take you to the next level of glory, resources, anyone who misuses all of these has the wasteful tag fixed on him on her. Now, in all cases, wasteful people do not seem to realize what they have. Do not seem to realize what they have. The reason why you are walking out of that job thinking that there's a greener pasture somewhere else is because you do not recognize that the job that god has given to you is a blessing you do not recognize what you have the reason why you are walking out of that marriage that relationship that god has blessed you with with your spouse is because you think that there is someone better out there you are wasting that opportunity, that relationship that God has blessed you with. The reason why you are walking out of your church is because you think that you do not recognize the blessing in that church. You do not recognize the blessing to relate with your senior pastor. So you are walking out of that relationship, out of that church, out of that organization. And if you do not realize it, my father says that they seem to walk away from every good opportunity and simply waste the blessings of life. You may have a good church, a good pastor, a good mother, a good father, a good husband, a good wife, or a good job. Do you realize how blessed you are? Do you realize how blessed you are? If only you take you take some time off to count your blessings. You realize how blessed you are. For godliness with contentment is great gain. When we sit back and count how blessed we are, we will not waste the things that God has blessed us with. It's very important to always take 
some time off, count the blessings, and see whether we are wasting any of the things that God has blessed us with. A wasteful person may turn against the very people who helped him and walk away from excellent opportunities. What makes people behave in this way? Why did the prodigal boy walk away from his golden position, opportunities, riches, and a bright future? I believe he was influenced. Don't miss this. He was influenced by the devil. When someone is under the influence of evil spirits, he often does not pay heed to the advice, but will continue in his sin. Anyone under the influence of the evil of an evil spirit doesn't pay heed to advice. You are walking out of that church. You're walking out on your out of that marriage, and people are talking to you, are advising you. You are not paying heed to that advice. You are under the influence of the devil. You are under the influence of the devil. Your mother is talking to you to stop chasing that boy, to leave you right. You do not seem to listen to your mom, your, your parents. You are stubborn in your own way. You are under the influence of the devil. When my husband preaches this message, whereas he introduced the book of Demos, he, he, he illustrates it so graphically that it, you just cannot miss it but understand how demons operate. Stubbornness is a sign of the presence of demons. Not heeding to advice is a sign that you are under the influence of the devil. There are evil spirits which influence people to waste away great opportunities that come their way. If you are having problems in this area, do not despair. Pray and come against these evil spirits in the name of Jesus. Pray and come against these evil spirits in the name of Jesus of Jesus and ask God to show you how to pray and his Holy Spirit will teach you you believe and confess the word of God and you shall be delivered so what are the steps to take in order to overcome this this first step is to pray and ask God to show you what is going on Ask God to show you how to pray. You don't just get up and go to the enemy's camp without having known the strategies that the enemy uses. That is why I want to introduce these two books to you. Know your invisible enemies and defeat them. And then demons and how to deal with them. You need to get these books. And to get these books, you need to order for the Macario 60. These two books will help you. This one, for example, will help you to know how demons operate. The fact that they operate in teams, in territories, they do not operate alone. For example, the madman of Gadara, which is dealt right here, dissected in this book, demons and how to deal with them so graphically and clearly, is that the, we see how a whole legion Field a human being and the end result. So if we do not do something and deal with the devil, they will multiply. More demons are going to fill you and before you realize you are living a life of solitude, you are cutting yourself and you are actually crying but still cutting yourself, living in the cemetery and doing all manner of things to yourself until your life gets destroyed. So please get these two books. And this one will unmask the strategies that the devil uses. 
the invisible enemy, the real enemy behind the problem. So this book will help you to unmask the invisible enemy, understand the strategies that the devil is using so that you can be able to defeat him and defeat him well and for good. So that is the first step. You need to read and study and know what is going on. Then you need to pray to God, which there are prayers already stated in this book to help you to overcome it. And the Holy Spirit will help you. And you pray in the name of Jesus and you can turn your life around. Deliver your life from that pre wasteful state so that you can fulfill the mandate that God has given to fulfill the purpose for which God created you and placed you right here on this earth. To get these books, please call the numbers that I have scrolled on your screen. You can call any of the numbers at all, and you have access to all of these books. To get these books, you need to order the Macario 60. The Macario 60 is 60 collection of Bishop Dakiwon Mills books. 60 collections. That's Macario 60. So please call the numbers scrolling on your screen and get these books right away they will help you and they will also help you to take care of your loved ones buy it as a gift for someone and god will bless you as we go out i want us to just listen to this song your situation is not hopeless the word that has come has come to set you free this is the truth and it has come to set you free and god is going to help you and make a way for you and pull down the stronghold of the enemy god loves you so much and he wants you to live a life free of wastage free of the influence of the devil which is the real enemy I would also like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is The Mandate TV. Subscribe to it so you can get notified every time the, the, our broadcast and other beautiful, beautiful programs are posted and come up live. So also like this page right after the broadcast is over. This is that you will miss literature crusade, one of our official pages. Also, like our other official page is Peter Bright Senior Hyphen The Mandate. And please subscribe to my father's um, podcast, It is Doug Heward Mills. And listen to just this Sunday's message. It will help you immensely. And continue to listen to him and listen to all the other messages that he's preached. They will help you and guide you on the right path to fulfilling the mandate that God has given to you in the name of Jesus. We are most grateful that you took time out today to join in. God bless you all so much for joining in this morning. I see right here Beatrice Ajiman. I see Kennedy Kosite. Reverend Lawrence Akanyinge, Alen Kojo Makafui, and many, many others. God bless you all so very much for joining in this morning, and may your mandate be clear to you. And as we sign out, please listen to this song, and remember that you are a daughter and a son of the Most High God. He created the whole world and everyone and every single thing in it. Therefore, you cannot be a victim of your circumstances. You are a victor. Believe it. Walk in it. Speak it. You are a victor. You are more than a conqueror, says the Lord. Enjoy this song. Because you make everything.
When I bite swing against the wall And it looks as if it was over And you're standing here Only because you made the way Only because you may go away The family okay There is nothing I'm standing here Only because you may go away Lost to fall with your power, the family of course, there is nothing, the same possible, we stand in you only because you may go away, only because you may go away. Only because you made the way Made the way You made the way You made the way Be happy, go through the day, know that God will help you, God will make a way for you. Every stronghold comes down in the name of Jesus. God is with you. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow by the grace of God. 6 a.m. GNT plus 1 is the time. Bye.